do want to ask you about your upcoming trip to Minnesota and what that's going to mean to you to, to go back and play back in Minnesota. That's going to mean a lot to me. Um, I don't know, a couple of, a couple of friends, uh, family have asked me, you know, how, how's it going to feel? Uh, I honestly don't know. I, I guess I'll see how I react uh, when I'm in the moment, but it um, should be really cool, and uh, I'm just uh, I'm excited to get out there. Um, big, uh, big road trip for us. What are some of your best memories of your time in Mini? Um, stadium Series, uh, Winter Classic, um, just all the friends I've made, too, along the way. Um, I feel like a bunch of us are in di- different places now. Uh, there's only really two holding it down uh, from when I first started, and that's Spurgeon and Brodine. Uh Those two have been uh, a little banged up this year, uh, but no, it'll, it'll be it'll be nice to see see a bunch of the fellows that uh, I've grown really close with. That's one for me too. A couple of teammates here that uh, spent some time in Minnesota too. So is there some common ground there? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, even. Cool, going to uh, university there. You know, we 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 talk about the spots uh, we uh, we went to back in the day, and um, you know what we get up into, uh, what we get up to in the summer, and um, yeah, I know it's uh, it, it's nice having uh, having some familiar faces here. Matt, how do you evaluate your own game half a season into your your first season in Arizona? Um, you know, it is it is. Hard coming to a new team at the at the start, you know. Um, switched everything, um, the systems, you know. You, you kind of get locked into it and, and build habits um, from playing a certain way for uh, as long as I did, or or within a certain system. Um, so it, it was a little bit of um, getting through that, but I feel more comfortable in my game uh, now and uh, kind of understanding my role here. Um, and, and that's kind of everything that had to shake out at the start of the year too. And uh, now, you know, being with Dermy or Mo, whoever it is, um, at night, and underst- understanding that you know you're going to have to do a job against the top line, and um, you know, play some play some good minutes, and uh, just be be very efficient, and, and, and try to play a really good defensive game every night. Um, you know, that allows me to you know kind of have that peace of mind of understanding my role and what I have to do to get ready and, and prepare um, each game and I feel like I've been uh, doing doing a pretty good job at that and just trying to find that consistency uh, I think everyone always is trying to find that and um, you know you're trying to uh, trying to be the best you can every night so um, yeah I, I felt more and more comfortable as uh, time one uh, time has gone on so far yeah has it you mentioned old habits. Has it reached the point where it is muscle memory, this new role, or is it still some thinking out there to remember what you're supposed to be doing after 10 years of doing it another way? Uh, no, no, it's pretty set now. And I can just feel like start of the year, I'd be, I'd get off the sheet and I'd be gassed, but I was just working. It's not, I needed to work smarter. I was working hard, but you know, I, I was exerting energies in areas. Uh, that I didn't didn't need to, um, but at the same time we play we play a really high pace. We play um, we play a game that's fast. Um, so you know you got to have that conditioning, and uh, I felt like I have that now, and I, I can understand when to when to use it and when to you know try to be more efficient on the ice and, and save energy. And um, uh, I think it's all coming together now, and uh, I'm starting to find it. You talk about your, your role that you had back in Minnesota was very defined, defensive shutdown. I think you guys were the first pair all the time. Do you think when you came here, maybe it was you, you were talking about your role, maybe you were trying to do too much for this team because the expectations were higher, and now watching you, your physicality is really taking over, kind of what we, we were expecting to see from Minnesota, and that's kind of found the way you used to defend. Do you think the physical part of your game has really helped you get back to where you want to be? Yeah, and, you, and like I said, like with – with the timing and new systems, you you, you gotta you gotta figure out that timing and when you're able to do it and the areas and you know the positioning you, you want to be in to set yourself up to be physical. You can't just like run around and be physical. Um, you know there there's a certain way to do it, especially against these top guys. They make it they make it hard to, <laughs> to make it hard to hit them. Um, you know, like it's <laughs> some of these some of these plays and how they support the puck. Um, they're uh, they're a really good team, so um, you, you gotta you gotta work with your partner and build that chemistry and understanding for you know what what each other are thinking. But um, yeah, it's starting to come together. 
You've been playing a lot with Travis recently. How has your chemistry progressed with him over time? It's been good, you know. Um, we, t we talk about a lot of plays. Uh, we just try to keep it simple. Um, I, I, I don't think uh, we're two guys that are, you know, going to go completely out of our way to, you know, do something crazy. Uh, I, at the same time, I'm probably got a little more um, jump sometimes, and, and he know, and he knows that, and he wants to put me in those positions, and um, you know, he's al he's always back there for me. So um, it's understanding that we can just use each other to be more efficient and um, get the breakouts, get the you know, get the coverages that we want.